Financial Charts Using MPL Finance In this lesson, we will learn how to generate various types of financial charts such as candlestick, OHLC, PNF, Renko, line charts, etc. using MPL Finance module. You can easily install the MPL Finance module using the pip command. In our examples, we will also use the Y Finance module for downloading OHLC data of different stocks from Yahoo Finance. Now let us start with our first example. Import the required modules, MPL Finance and Y Finance. Now download the stock prices of Apple stock, AAPL using the download function of Y Finance. The downloaded data is saved as a data frame, DF. Period equals 1 MO, that is last 1 month's data. Interval equals 1 D, that is, data interval, is 1 day. Our required data is downloaded, let's view the first few records. As we can see, the daily open prices, high prices, volume, etc. are available in our data set. Let's check the available columns in the data set. The columns are open, high, low, close, adjusted close, and volume. Let's view only the open, high, low, and close prices of the stock. Here is the daily OHLC data of the stock. Now let's plot this data using the plot function of MPL Finance module. Just pass the data frame as an argument to the function. And here is the output. This is an OHLC chart. We may mention the chart type using the type parameter. The title parameter may be used for giving a suitable title to the plot. Note that OHLC is the default chart type. If type parameter is not mentioned, the plot function will generate an OHLC chart. Let's change the chart title. Here is our modified OHLC chart with a suitable title. The individual bars shows the open, high, low, and close prices for a particular day. Let's magnify this bar and see its various parts. This point marks the open price. This point marks the close price. This is the highest price for this day. And this is the lowest price of the stock for this day. Please note that, the small left stick, denotes the opening price. And the small right stick, denotes the closing price. Now let's check this bar. Look, the closing price is less than the opening price. That is, the price has fallen. In this bar, the closing price is higher than the opening price. That is, the price has increased. If we look at the entire period, the price is falling gradually. We may use the MAV parameter for plotting the moving average prices of the stock. Here MAV equals 4 indicates 4 days moving average prices. 
Now, in addition to the bars, we see the moving average price line also. Now let's download the OHLC data for MSFT, that is, Microsoft. Now we will plot a candlestick chart from this data frame. So, assign candle to the type parameter. Here is our candlestick chart. White candlesticks represent increasing prices. Black candlesticks represent decreasing prices. The various parts of the white candlestick are as shown on the screen. The various parts of the black candlestick are as shown on the screen. The movement of average prices may be drawn like this. We may also use the MAV parameter for drawing a moving average line. Let's download 3 months data. We may use the volume parameter for displaying the volume of transactions in different intervals. Here the interval is one day. The blue bars at the bottom side shows the transaction's volume in different dates. We may also use the show underscore non-trading parameter for showing the non-trading days also. Now we can see gaps in the candlesticks and volume bars for non-trading days. Now let's plot a Renko chart using the same data frame. Here is our Renko chart. The white boxes indicate increasing prices, and the black boxes indicate decreasing prices. Let's download one year's data for the stock and plot the Renko chart again.
Now the Renko chart displays price movement of the Microsoft stock prices for the last one year. The whites are for increasing prices, and the blacks are for the decreasing prices. Now let's plot a point and figure chart using the same data. Type equals PNF indicates point and figure chart. And here is our point and figure chart for Microsoft stock prices. Crosses represent rising prices, and the circles represent falling prices. Now let's draw a simple line chart. And here is the line chart. Also, show the moving averages for 5, 10, and 15 days. Show volume 2. We have seen in our examples how easily we can plot different types of financial charts using MPL Finance module. Isn't it interesting? We may use the MPL Finance module for generating more advanced plots with various stylers and customization. We will cover those things in our next lesson. That's all for today's lesson. If you find this lesson helpful, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your valuable feedback is important for me and will help me improve the contents of the channel. Thanks for watching up to the end. Hope to see you in the next, bye.